I love cycling, but riding your bike in Berlin can be a pain in the ass. You have to deal with many shitty bike lanes. And construction sites are almost always on the bike lane. And even in the bike lane, you have to fight for your space. And cars are blocking the bike lane. So, what's going on in Berlin? I'll try to figure it out. Berlin has an official bicycle strategy. Two documents with 48 pages in total. It contains a list with goals for cycling in Berlin. Maintenance and improvement of infrastructure. Keeping bike lanes free of obstacles. Unrestricted passage at construction sites. And moving bike lanes onto the street wherever possible. And there was an online survey where the authorities asked cyclists which critical locations needed to be addressed. The entries with most of the votes got boiled down into a top 20 list. And as the survey was two years ago, I thought it's worth checking on implementation. All right, so I'll be checking three locations out of the top 20. It's Schönhaus Allee, Cottbusser Tor and Hermannplatz. First up is Schönhauser Allee. So, it's not my opinion on the signs, it's the wishes from the survey. Cyclists wanted to have the bike lanes on the street and not on the sidewalk. But, well, on Schönhauser Allee, almost all bike lanes are on the sidewalk. So, no changes on Schönhauser Allee. Next up, Cottbusser Tor. For Cotti, cyclists wished for broader and highlighted bike lanes. But at Cotti, there aren't any highlighted bike lanes. And they're not really wide either. So, nothing's changed here. Alright, and finally, Hermannplatz. And again, cyclists said in a survey they wanted to have the bike lanes on the street. What is not the case at Hermannplatz? So, summing it up, nothing's changed here either. And I checked out some more places out of the top 20. Within the last two years since the survey, nothing's changed there either. Except one place. Moritzplatz. Cyclists wished for broader and highlighted bike lanes. And they got them. So is it because of the money that almost nothing from the survey got implemented? Well, checking on Berlin's budget for bicycle infrastructure, I found out there is money, and the budget is increasing. It's the spending that's the problem. Ah, and talking of spending budget, there was a new investment that took place last year. Since summer 2014, Berlin has bike cops. And their goal is, quote, create a safe and roadworthy behavior between pedestrians cyclists and motorists. So far so good, but let me take you back to the numbers. The numbers show a comparison of fines for motorists versus cyclists within the first year of bike cops in action. Motorists got fines for parking on a bike lane and incorrect turnoffs or not giving way. And cyclists got fines for ignoring red light and 
cycling into the wrong direction or on the sidewalk. And that's the amount of fines within the first year of bike cops in action. Bike cops are also responsible for reporting weak and dangerous infrastructure. And they reported 12 locations, but within one year. So this is what I learned about cycling in Berlin. There is the official strategy and there was the survey. Although the goals from the strategy and the wishes from the top 20 are very much in line, almost nothing from the survey got implemented. Maybe that's because there is budget, but half of it doesn't get spent. So all this stays theory. Versus the reality of cycling in Berlin, which is very different. Ah, and the bike cops? Well, they are real, but don't make it easier for cyclists. There are still some things that I couldn't figure out. So Berlin, why don't you spend the budget? And how is it possible that the bike cops were only able to report 12 dangerous locations? And instead, why do they seem to chase cyclists when they're bike cops? <laughs>